watch over there and take more of Poland, would you? I was in the middle of a conversation with the chief, uh, with the chief, with the chef, when Ernst, the fuck is Ernst? Ernst von Schauenberg. Some courtier of mine? No, he's in, he's in freaking Holland. What? Oh, he's a member of the Breakers of Icons, okay. Ernst appears from nowhere, grabs me by the arm, and pulls me to a nearby room. With a wrinkled forehead and sweaty palms, he told me that he intends to leave our society after being haunted too many times by shadows in the darkness. Persuade by talking about solidarity. Explain the importance of devotion. That's what he feels about it. Uh, I don't think I feel... I mean, I guess I feel strongly enough about this to join the group, but I'm also a pretty nasty old man at this point. I think I just say, yeah, whatever. Defeat in the Battle of Lanschut. Yeah, that was this one here, wasn't it? So where are you going now? You're gonna... Re yeah, okay, fine. God's blessing upon thee, faithful Egonolf. As secret practitioners of our religion, we are under constant scrutiny. We ask that you spend some time trying to blend into the religious community of your realm in order to distract any harmful forces discovering our true beliefs. Go with God. Signed, Harold Adelbert. Ah, sure, whatever. I'll try it. Infirm old man that I am. Another year passes. Hopefully we'll lift this... Gain this... Uh, I keep saying lift the siege. We'll gain this territory back shortly. Yeah, there we go. Back up to 76. Why the fuck it dipped down that far, I have no idea. But whatever. I'm glad that it's back. Good news! Oh my god, again? We have received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag in the county of Bryceskow. Okay, I'm apparently doing this again. I wonder if I'll find another maiden in a cabin somewhere. Grief. What a weird old man I've become. Okay, that's totally fine. Let's march up here to once again try to kick some ass, huh? 10,000, really? Okay. He's able to aggregate together some pretty impressive armies here and there. And I've just had to take him apart piecemeal, and it's taken me a goddamn while to do, too. Good, now I'm actually running a positive uh, monthly balance. That's good. So I'm getting some from the occupations, getting a lot from all the battles that I've won, and I still control the whole Urban Empire. Ah, so that's why there was that plus 30 something for controlling the Holy Roman Empire, and when he seized Aquileia, I lost it, even though Premislid was still the Holy Roman Empire, and he seized that, and I didn't lose it, so I don't, don't know, excuse me, why it happened with this one, but not with this one. King Baudouin the Usurper has usurped the title of Kingdom of Aquitaine from Duke... Petty squabbles. I have uh, an open position for an advisor. Hmm. He's close to being a malcontent. He is a malcontent. Though he's close to being a zealot. 
uh, or a pragmatist. Hmm. Oh, let's put Siegfried the King of Greece on there. What the hell? He's still a Malk. Uh, he's still a pragmatist. That's good. Okay, fine. Good. You've gathered your followers and your hunting dogs. You have saddled your horse and prepared your weapons. You are ready to set out to hunt the great white stag. This time it will not escape me. I'm actually going to turn the speed up a little bit. Because I think that we can safely uh, risk it. We're very close to finishing this war. You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but are forced to return empty-handed. You are sure that no one's impressed by your failed adventure. It's my own failure. Invalid that I am. Lose 20 prestige. Ha! Ah, and I gain the trait humble, really. Or, it's because my retainers are useless. I am no longer paranoid. However, I am stressed. I'm proud, so I wouldn't want to admit wrongdoing. I'm wroth. I'm envious, and I'm cruel. So, of course, it's my retainers. Alright, kick some ass, boys. Oh, again, I forgot to assign commanders. God damn it. As I retired to my chambers, I was shocked to find a copy of the Bogomilist Bible on my bed. At first, I thought someone had left it there with the intention to frame me. But then I noticed a little note left on top of the open tome. I think you will find this interesting. Please, give it a chance. Signed, a friend. Intriguing, I guess a little read never hurt. Never, I will hide it where no one shall ever find it. Everybody's trying to convert me to their little heretic sect, aren't they? I think I'm pretty committed to the icon smashers, so let's just try to hide it. Do I get paranoid? No, I don't. Okay, good. Kick their asses, men. Ooh, and you're kicking some ass, too. Good. Victory in the Battle of Kozla. Fine. And a victory in the Battle of Oswegshire. Very good. War score is 84%. I'm looking to conduct more sieges. My liege, I have tried to make Duke Valter the monk realize what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, but sinister forces at his court have been hard at work to discredit my every move and distort my every word. I'm afraid that in the end the visit seems to have done more harm than good. Harm indeed! Duke Lutbert, I will not forget this incompetence. But I'll let you keep doing your job. Daughter was born to Dietrich, my grandson, and Elvira Luis, named Amelberga. Oh, good! I was worried about Elvira's uh, chastity. It looks like she has overcome it in order to give birth to a darling daughter, my great granddaughter, Amelberga. Congratulations, Dietrich. Congratulations, Elvira. Welcome to the family, Amelberga. If some kind of catastrophe strikes, you could be a uh, Kaiserine, maybe? I don't know. It seems very unlikely at this point. Siege of Hamburg. Really? It's, it's, it's nothing. It's not a thing. Your vassal, Duke Louis of Lower Lorraine, is concerned about his non-inheriting sons. He asks you to consider them when looking for new vassals. Hell no. I can't get about land to anyone who asks. Go fuck yourself, dude. I've said that to everybody who's asked. I tend to let female thieves and bandits get away with lighter sentences than men. Really? I might condemn a woman to a few months in prison, whilst a man might get one of his hands chopped off. It's high. 
<laughs> Apparently, I'm not making a decision about this. I'm just commenting to myself. That's how it should be. And Kaiser uh, and Dietrich, my son, my grandson, reacts to me somehow because of my arbitrary arbitrariness. I didn't think anyone had noticed that I give lighter se lighter sentences to women than men, but Dietrich was all in favor in giving a, uh, in a, uh, all in favor of giving men more severe punishments than women. Well, he agrees with me. He approves of my arbitrariness. Really? Why would that be? He loves his grandfather. <laughs> Proves of arbitrariness. I don't know why that would be. Fellow member of the Breakers of Icons. Huh. Beatrix, my granddaughter. By Princess Gertrude. Lacks an education focus. Uh, yeah, diplomacy. Alright, boys, keep pouring it on. Keep those sieges strong. We're almost done. We're at 88%. Almost there. Victory in the siege of... Blah, 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 blah. Of course, it was at 91%. Go very fast. Victory in the siege of the, that name. Which was at ninety-four percent. That should go fast too. I think it's within sight. The end of the war is within sight. Maybe by uh, July of next year. Earlier than that, possibly. My liege, my mission to Vermandois has so far been a success. Do you it to the court of Bishop Hoopold? Yay! All right, he does now like me more than the Pope. Next, I'm going to send you to saint Dizier in uh, Bar. Well done, Bishop Kuno. Now, please, go ply your trade in Bar. Oh, damn it. Please go ply your trade in Bar. Oh, I am still running a negative monthly balance. Okay, there for a while it was showing as positive, so I was confused. 96% the war score. Come on, baby. These two sieges should, should put it over the top, I think. Victory, 97%. Defeat? What? Where was that? Oh my god. How long have those guys been standing down there? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'll tolerate it. Uh, victory in the Siege of Konsland, 99% uh, now. Really? I'm losing, but I won't give up yet. You really won't, won't yet worry. You want to wait for that last 1%, huh? Eh, go fight them. Maybe that'll be enough. Alright, I guess I have to unpause it, don't I? Oh, that's done. 99% still. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, one of my iconoclast uh, fellows, Duke Ludbert IV, has expressed worry that the stress of keeping my true faith hidden is getting to me. He's suggesting that an incognito evening at a local tavern would do me good, away from the prying eyes of the court. I am super stressed, so I think I'd go along with this. That sounds exactly like what I need. You disguise yourselves to visit a local watering hole. Oh, good, we go slumming. Hundred percent. Awesome. Victory in the Battle of Brieg. Just over the top. Baron Kaspar of Skoskoskoskso. God. Sorry, Polish fans. I have no idea what that, what that, how you pronounce that. Was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. Perfect. Let's end this goddamn war for once and for all. Ugh. 
took years to get it settled, but we did it. The Holy Roman War, Holy Roman Revolt War for Kolbjorn's claim on Holy Roman Empire has ended. Kaiser Egonolf of the Holy Roman Empire won. Can we righteously imprison this asshole? Oh, he is imprisoned. Okay, good. Whew. Well, that took a while. That just leaves my retinue. Still very strong. Uh, I don't need my marshal to lead them anymore. I can have my marshal again. Um, research military tech, I guess. I don't know. There's nothing else to do. Oh, God damn it. I keep right clicking when I mean to left click. Speaking of technology, I spend points on anything interesting? Yeah, sure, that one. Um, cultural advances. Eh, noble custom. And economy advances. Let's just do church infrastructure. Sure. What the hell? I don't really need to save up points at this point. Uh, Your Imperial Majesty, may you, may you live in harmony and contentment. We would like you to back our plot to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Verona. What? I don't give a shit about that. No. Adherent Lutbert was entirely right that I needed to get away from court. But there is no denying that we got carried away at the tavern. When our iconoclast leanings became a bit too clear, a local rough suddenly rose from his seat and staggered with raised fists toward Lutbert. You'll pay for your heretical words. Attempt to resolve the situation diplomatically. A threat? I'll add injury to those insults. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure I would try to fuck this guy up. Proud. Wroth. And cruel. I'll add injury to those insults. Um, 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 would you like to black back our plot fabricate a claim in the Kingdom of France? No, I don't give a shit. Why are you asking me? In these dark times, iconoclasts must stand up for each other. I shoved Duke Lutbert IV out of the way of the first punch, and as the tavern descended into brawling chaos, I made sure he was left unharmed. In the end, my fists were battered and bruised. There was not a single person left standing who dared question me when I proclaimed the superiority of the iconoclast fate. It felt good to fight in the name of God. Gain 30 devotion. I get bruised knuckles, giving the following effects. Negative one martial, negative one diplomacy. At this point, it doesn't matter because my traits all, my skills all suck. And Duke Lutbert's opinion of me changes by 15 for five years. Well, what a right old kook I've become. I'm infirm, I'm stressed, I'm lustful and apparently sweep maidens off their feet who live in cabins in the woods, I'm arbitrary, I'm an iconoclast, I pick fights in taverns while I'm dressed in disguise, I am, I'm, I'm a heretic, I'm batshit crazy. Aganoff has ended up being one of the more interesting Kaisers that we've played, mainly because he's just a complete asshole. My prisoner, Duke Anselm the Fat, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Why are you in my dungeon? Because of... Treachery? Yes, it looks like. It looks like we imprisoned everybody, including the <laughs> King of Poland. I would be willing to ransom them, but let's let him rot for now.
This is kind of funny that I'm extorting all these people. Oops. Oops. Ah, damn it. I'm extorting the King of France for 250 gold. The Duke of Tuscany for 145. Hedvig? Oh, okay. For a second, I thought it was my granddaughter. I should probably just release Hedvig. She's just a kid. Whatever. And Henrik. He's a kid, too. And Herman. He's a kid. Oh, wait. No, they were all dukes and stuff. Ah, fuck. I should have. I should have uh, ransomed them anyway. Everybody's accepting my uh, orders, f uh, my offers for ransom. Rumor has it that your vassal Liutbert has been influenced by his guardian's splendor. It is said that Liutbert is now properly Danish. Really? I hope it's a beneficial influence. Oh, good grief. Come on. <laughs> I'm making some serious bank here. Sound effects for deaths have gotten funnier and funnier. Holy crap, what the hell's going on here? Arrange patrol. Arrange patrol? Princess Gertrude. Oh, because her husband died. Everybody wants a taste now. I see. Yeah, she's only 32. She has two daughters, so people are thinking, hey, hey, maybe I could have a son with her. And if something were to happen to the Kaiser's grandsons, Dietrich... Eganolf, maybe my son would be the next in line. He proposed that some nobody and your daughter get betrothed. Decline. We propose that some... Oh, a prince of Norway. I'll consider that. Hang on. Propose that Arliss... Heir to the Duchy of Zamud. Yeah, whatever. Uh, who is this? The Emperor of Alba. Hey. Philip Makaida and Princess Gertrude of Holy Empire should get married. He's also a nobody. I'll decline. And he's a nobody. We're going to accept from the uh, King of Norway his offer that his son, the Prince of Norway, marry our daughter, Princess Gertrude. Though this does... Um, Get her, she was previously matrilineally married. This would not be a matrilineal marriage. Maybe I should reconsider this. Of course, the pool is much, much slimmer. Her daughters would still be Chatenois, though. Regardless. Um, she's probably not going to become the Kaiserine, right? In the way are her nephews, Dietrich and Eganolf. Then her. She's third. Okay. So if she married patrilineally, would she still be in line? I think that she would, wouldn't she? Ah, fuck it. It's 1444. Let's risk it. Whatever. Accept. Be nice to have a daughter married to the King of Norway. Okay, with the war settled, let's try to get to the end of the year and then we'll end the play session. A man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the fair queen of Elfland, and some say his songs are prophetic. Long lost, but home again. I could gain the trait kind. Just an old drunk. Throw him out. Available because I have wrath. I have no reason to believe him. Available because I have arbitrary. He's finally found his way home, then. Courtier named Siegfried. Yeah, it's going to be one of these two. Uh, just flip flip a coin, basically. One through five, just an old drunk. Six through ten, I have no reason to believe him. Three. Throw him out!
Well, we crushed that rebellion rather effortless. Well, no, it actually took some effort. Rather um, effectively. Oh, my god, Byzantines have taken some of Croatia back. And the Ilkhanate did not attack us during that war. That would have been an ideal time to attack us. Maybe they still had a, a truce with us? I'm not sure. No, only a truce with Upland. Okay. Um, interesting. I think maybe we should... Maybe we should... Well, we can't hold a feast or go on a grand hunt or anything else. Blend in. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I was going to say, hold a grand hunt, a summer fair, or a feast on account of us winning that war. Month is before August. It's at least November. Before November, at least September. We should be able to do that. Health traits fewer than one. Oh. Can't go on a grand hunt. We could hold a feast, though, in November. So we'll do that. My prisoner, Baron Kaspar of whatever, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Eh, I'm arbitrary. Whatever. Release him. Just let him go. Character owes me a favor. Okay, November, as soon as you hit, I'm holding a feast. Uh, okay, I see that, I see that. Open council position. Steward, eh? Malcontent? No, you're not getting on. Uh, oh yeah, you're Yitzhak. You're one of my Jewish dudes. You'd be fantastic, but no. I'm gonna appoint... Gottfried instead, because you, Yitzhak, are malcontent. Gottfried, would you please raise taxes in Lorraine? And now, back to what I was doing. Hold a feast. I've given the orders for a great feast to be hosted in Lorraine. Hosted in Lorraine. Let the preparations begin. And all my vassals will be there. I'm hosting this feast because we won the Civil War. The wandering minstrel entered the castle singing and did not stop until he found me. With a flourishing bow and one long, sad... Oh, flourishing bow and one long, sad tone from his lute, he finished his song and asked for my patronage. Sure. I'm holding a feast to celebrate my victory. I think I'd be down with uh, spending some money. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar, and duck, spices, wine, and ale, honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. I'm greedy, but I do want to spend some money, so let's say spend enough on food to satisfy everyone's hunger. Most of the preparations for the feast have been made. Now I only have to send out the invitations. Dear Kaiser Eganolf, says Duke Louis the Drunkard. <laughs> you think he'd want to be at a feast. I thank you for your invitation, but I will not be able to attend your feast. In fact, I refuse to set my foot in the same castle as you. Well, I don't like you either. Dear Kaiser Eganolf, blah, 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 the same thing. Duke Arnold of Baden, Pix, and Jerusalem. Yeah. Good luck holding under that Jerusalem title. Dear Kaiser Eganolf, I thank you for your invitation, but I will not be able to attend your feast. In fact, I refuse the same thing. My vassal, the mayor of a Mayors cannot afford to piss off the Kaiser. Mayor of Sarber, okay, same thing. Hawkmeister Thietmar the Holy. This is all the people that I had in prison that I ransomed, isn't it? They're like, I don't want to be there. Maybe you pay to get out of prison. Eh. Oh, he's my steward! <laughs> <laughs> One of my commanders. He loves me. Why would he not come in? God damn. A whole bunch of people are turning me down. 
Cold-hearted bastards. Okay, character owes me a favor. I don't actually know how to call that favor in, because I've not previously had anybody owe me a favor. Oh, maybe this is it. Calling council support. No, by favor. No. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody will tell me in the comments, I'm sure. I probably won't take advantage of it in this LP because we're so close to the end. The guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The cooks have worked day and night preparing the food, and the castle has never looked lovelier. Welcome to my feast, everyone. Everyone who decided to come, anyway. May live in harmony and contentment. The insidious peace and traitors must be expelled from your lands. Ugh, no. No embargo wars. I'm holding a feast. A Christmas feast, no less. Mayor Anselm cut the throat of one of my servants when the clumsy man spilled wine over his garb. I am wroth, proud, and cruel. Imprison Mayor Anselm. I gained the trait just, apparently. Again. I think I had it previously and I lost it. Now I have it again. Everyone drank and were happy, except Mayor Jean, who refused more wine. This insulting gesture means he does not appreciate my hospitality. How dare he insult me? I know it's January 1st. I said I'd stop at the end of the year, but I'll stop when my feast is over. The last of the guests has returned home, and everyone agreed it was this year's greatest feast. I had great fun, and so did everyone else. Fantastic! January 2nd, we'll end the play session there. Let's take a look at the map. Alba. Still Alba. Completely united now. Has all of Ireland. Wow, the British Isles are one empire. Ooh, Iceland is in revolt against its Norwegian overlords. Norway is a little carved up. This Norwegian revolt is rather impressive. Uslandet's still there, Sveirik is still there. Norway has some of Finland under its sway. Rus looks a little smaller than what we're used to. Prussia, Alba, oh my gosh, Alba's gained some territory up here in the Baltic states as well. Hmm. Actually, I think the Baltic states are like here. This would be, I think, modern-day Russia, I think, is up here, yeah? Or is Russia not till over here? I know Russia shares a border with Finland here, but do they share a border with Finland here, too? I think that they do. I can't recall at the moment. Anyway, uh, what's the Iberian Peninsula look like? It's a mess. Portugal, Castile, Galicia, Aragon... Castilian Revolt. The Muslims are back. Um, yeah, this is an absolute mess. What is this? I can't even read it. Knights of Calatrava hold territory. Okay, fine. You do you, Spain. Portugal. Mali's still there. Uh, Mali's moved up a little bit. Fatimids have, I think, regained what they had in Revolt previously. Oh, and they're still over here in the Horn. The Almoravids are completely gone, right? It looks that way. Were they gone last time? I can't remember. Ilkhanate, still the monolithic force in the world. Golden Horde, I think, has expanded a little bit more, but they still expand so slowly. They've been a complete non-factor in European history to this point. Uh, and India being India. So that's it, everyone. That's our play session. Oh, what's going on in Sardinia? Castilian Revolt. Oh, that's part of the Spanish mess. Okay. That's our play session, everyone. Thanks for watching. Glad that we were able to wrap up the war. Glad that Eganoff has stuck around as long as he has, even though he's infirm. He has been holding on for a few years now. He's ended up being a pretty interesting Kaiser, though I wouldn't say a good one. 
He's managed to retain power. Uh, he hasn't really gained any territory, but he's managed, managed to retain what he's been given. Except, did he lose the Holy Land, or was it his father? I can't remember. Uh, anyway, until next time, everyone, take care. I will see you around, and until next time, uh, long live House Shadow Moth.